Looks like we finally found ourselves another coin. Take a listen. There it is. Oh my, are you kidding me? Just uh, looking around some new spots today. This is actually the first hole I've dug at this spot. I just blew my mind what just came out of this hole. I flip the plug and this pops out. I'm still trying to process what just happened. I know Ryan's gonna be jealous of this. All right, guys, I am done messing around when it comes to those early wheat pennies. So I have come to a location. We are gonna see if we can find some old pennies. I have a feeling we will because I found a very early 1910s wheat penny out of here, as well as an Indian head penny. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, you guys, I thought I had the best coin in the world. Check this out. So last time I was here, this is the location where I was finding coins. And I saw roundness in the hole, but unfortunately it's not a coin. I thought it was a ring next. That was my next guess. Almost kind of looks like one, but uh, unfortunately it's not. It's actually just like a little gear of some sort, which is still pretty cool in its own right. And this is definitely the stuff you want to be on the lookout for. So I'm still happy with that. All right, guys, looks like the moment has finally come. Take a listen to this. So that definitely, it sounds like a zinc penny, but that is what older wheat pennies sound like as well. This could be a zinc penny. Uh, I'm hoping it's not though. <laughs> so let's take a look. Uh, I'm not liking the way it's feeling. Unfortunately, since we are on the road, there could be some modern stuff mixed in here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go with zinc on that one, unfortunately. Uh, that sucks. I really thought we had one there. All right, well, we'll get on to the next and see what else we can get. All right, guys, so it is day three out here. I didn't film anything on day two. We didn't find a whole lot. There's a couple of things I might show you later on, but uh, today we just got out here and the very first signal is actually pretty cool. Take a look. So here it is about four inches down. It sounded just like a copper penny. I was hoping for a coin, but uh, this is just about as good, I would say, maybe even better, a nice, bell which is really cool that means that there were horses out here so they were probably lugging things around with horses and it's super heavy i mean it, granted it, it still has a lot of dirt in it so i'll have to clean it up but uh man i love the patina on that thing and let me give you a close-up on that nice and green as soon as i saw that i was like man i got something good here all right guys we're gonna keep looking around hopefully we can find some coins today all right guys check this out i just got what i would consider to be the holy grail of all signals when it comes to this particular area have a listen So typically that is like a zinc penny signal, but out here, that could mean an Indian head penny. Very shallow this time around. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the pinpointer first just to see if I can locate it. Now, the fact that it's so solid like that and on top of the ground, it may be something big, maybe like a can lid or something like that. I'm just trying to locate it now. I just had a vibration there, yep. Man, where did it go? Okay, so yeah, we're right about there. Let's see if we can do this one live. I got my edge digger over here. I'm gonna grab it out of my pouch and let's see if we can get a coin to come up live. That would be awesome. Nice sandy soil here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, I think we found our target. It doesn't look to be a coin, but what the heck is this, guys? It's definitely not a bust either. That's actually pretty cool. It looks like maybe a belt buckle or something. Something fancy. Something you wouldn't expect to see a whole bunch of loggers wearing around. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe a brooch or something. Either way, that's pretty cool. And this is the kind of stuff we're looking for. Usually this type of stuff is also in there with the coins. So I am happy with that for sure. Let's keep moving and see what else we can find. Check this out. The very next hole I dug was a little bit of a lower tone. And uh, this is what popped out. It actually came out like this. I thought it was a rock, but no, it's a spoon or at least a piece of one. Might even be silver plated. And I think I might have hit it with the shovel there, but uh, that's okay. What can you do? I had no idea I was going to get a spoon out of that hole. All right, guys. We'll try to be a little more careful on the next one and see what else we can get. Well, this signal sure sounded good and I thought for sure we were gonna have a coin. It was over here in this dirt and I was like, there's not much room there. It's gotta be something small, it sounds good. And this is what we have. 
I thought I, I saw a little bit of a silvery edge. I thought maybe we have a silver coin. No, I don't think so. But uh, some kind of button. It's hard to say if it's uh, old or not because some of the stuff out here is not. But I think this one probably is. And the reason I say that is because it has some wording on it there. Made by, it looks like it says Amco. And uh, a lot of the stuff that you find that's old out here uh, will usually say who it's made by, what year, what patent date, stuff like that. As a matter of fact, I have another piece to show you. Let me grab that real quick. So kind of in the same vein of what I was talking about earlier. This one says patented March 14th, 1905. Just a tiny little piece, and it kind of looks like a zipper to me. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, so they like to put the year and union made, all that type of stuff on whatever they were making back then. So I think that's pretty cool. Well, this is pretty cool, guys. I just got myself another one of those little Amco buttons. And this one's not quite as shiny, but uh, that's pretty cool to find something repeated like that. Well, I think that pretty much confirms it, ladies and gentlemen. There were definitely horses here. That's a pretty cool one, too. Very large. All right, I like finding that type of stuff, even though that's not what I'm looking for. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do too much more out here today, cause I gotta get back. But uh, in case they don't see ya, well, we'll get on to the next area and hopefully we can get some coins. Alrighty guys, I'm out on the road again and it looks like we finally found ourselves another coin. Take a listen. So it definitely has a zinc sound to it. I'm gonna turn this off so it's not in the way. It was extremely shallow. Let me get this way so my shadow's not in the way either. Now, this may be another zinc penny like the other day, but uh, I am really hoping it is not. There it is. Oh my, are you kidding me? Yes, guys, we got another one. This was so shallow and I don't even have a collection for this. Unbelievable. Gosh, guys, I am going to be hunting this road all the way up and down until the day that I die because there are coins on it and they are extremely shallow. Let's actually zoom in here so we can get a good look at it. I kind of wish I would have done this one live. I wasn't thinking it was going to be old, but uh, my gosh. And look at the condition on it, too. Oh, 1901. I'm not going to rub that side. I'll probably get that off with a toothpick later. But uh, I'm glad that that side came out because that is a beautiful looking Indian head penny right there. Unbelievable. All right. We don't have much time left out here. I'm definitely going to want to get back here as soon as I can. And I'll probably have to go and buy myself an Indian head penny collection because I think that I'm going to be finding quite a few of these in the future if I can come back here and keep looking around this area. But uh, anyways, guys, absolutely amazing find. Let's uh, walk our way back to the car. And who knows, we might stumble onto another. So we are just feet away from that Indian head penny that I just found, and I think we may have another. Have a listen. Oh, that is great. 83, that actually could be a Lincoln. Love the depth on it too. Only about four inches down. Let's go ahead and get her dug. Fortunately, that one just ended up being an old crushed up can. Can't win them all. All right, guys, so those last couple of holes were a bust, but this one I think may be the real deal. Have a listen. Double hitting right on the surface. Oh my gosh, let's see if we can get it with the pin pointer. I'm not picking it up with the pin pointer. So it must be a little bit under the surface here. We'll go ahead and dig it. Let's see, oh wait, hold on. There we go. That's barely under the surface. Let me grab my little edge digger, recalibrate. All right, moment of truth. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, we can't win them all. All right, guys, different day now. I got about an hour to detect. I don't know if I'm going to be finding a whole lot, but just in case I do, I am at that turn of the century park, which I've found a few things at before, sometimes come up empty handed. Let's go ahead and see what we can get today. All right, guys, check this out. So this was basically a surface find. It is our first coin of the day, and you're not going to believe what this is. At first, seeing that gold tint, I thought we had ourselves a dollar coin, but no, this is actually an extremely modern 2021 uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware quarter. Now, if you've been watching the series for a while, you know that we've actually been having a pretty difficult time finding these newer coins. The reason being, they just haven't had enough time to drop them yet. 
Uh, so this is probably the newest coin that we have uh, going into any collection at all. And it looks amazing. It's got that pretty cool toning, probably from water damage because I'm in a pretty uh, wet area. As a matter of fact, this is a pretty cool area that I'm hunting. Basically, that is the river right there. Usually the water is in this area, but right now it is not. And they actually moved some benches over here for people to sit at. That's probably how this was dropped. But uh, anyways, that's definitely not in the collection yet, so I'm happy to find it. I had a little scare there because I thought we had a dollar coin, which would have been amazing. Definitely not an easy coin to find right there. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get on to the next one and see if we can find some more. All right, guys, check this out. That right there is where we found that first quarter and have a listen over here. And I'm pretty sure I know what that's gonna be. It has the exact same sound. All right, let's see if we can just pinpoint this one right off the bat, because that last one was pretty easy to pinpoint. So let's pull this baby out and see if we can find it. There we go. Yeah, look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, the edge is right there. And take a look at this. Let's do a zoom here. Uh, what is this one gonna be? Another modern quarter. Ooh, we got ourselves a Wisconsin. Oh, wait a minute, guys, look at that. Two quarters right there, right next to where we found one other. There probably is gonna be more here now that I think about it. I mean, just, oh my gosh, 1965, are you kidding me? And we got ourselves a Wisconsin 2004 quarter. Uh, now on this one, you actually want to be looking out for an error on that corn ear right over there. Look at these coins. They're just perfect coming out of the ground here. Really no damage on them whatsoever. Uh, I'm not seeing it on that one. You'd be looking for the extra leaf. I bring this up in my quarter videos all the time. Definitely didn't think I'd be bringing it up today, but uh, that's awesome, guys. Two more quarters, and let's see if we can find some more in this exact same area because it seems to be a nice hotbed for quarters. All right, guys, a few more minutes later, and we got ourselves another coin. Sorry I haven't been filming it too much. These have almost always been either pieces of trash, metal, or bottle caps, but uh, this one happened to be a coin, and it looks like it's going to be a penny. Oh, pretty old too actually take a look at that man it's kind of crazy Th this is must have been dropped recently because it doesn't really look like it has any environmental damage on it at all but look at that guys 1964 it looks like and uh, we probably already have that one in the collection these are the ones that come out the most often it seems like but uh, still happy to see that we're getting back there towards the uh, wheat penny range which is definitely something we want to see all right guys we got a few more minutes here let's see if we can get another coin and hopefully something more into the collection. All right guys, we're back in the studio now and we're ready to go over the finds for the last couple of hunts. Oh, what's that? I'm receiving word that we actually have more footage to show and it's coming from Kevin. Huh, let's roll the clip. Just uh, looking around some new spots today. This is actually the first hole I've dug at this spot and I just blew my mind what just came out of this hole. Um, it was a really not great signal, it sounded like a zinc penny almost. I flip the plug and this pops out. This is insane. It's not American. It's a Canadian five cent silver. And I can't see the date yet, but <laughs> that's incredible. Believe it or not, this is the first silver coin I've ever found. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. <sighs> I don't want to rub it. I'll probably get some water on it, but yeah, it's uh, 1892 is the date on it. It's a five cent silver Canadian. I think it's King George the third or fourth on there, but that is not only the first silver coin I found, the first coin out of this site, and what an incredible find. That is amazing. I'm still trying to process what just happened. I know Ryan's gonna be jealous of this because I know that he just loves Canadian coins. Guys, here's a close-up of what I just found. This is an 1892 five cent Canadian silver coin, um, and I was incorrect about who is on it. This is actually Queen Victoria, so it's even an earlier coin than I'm even familiar with. So I guess that shows you how much I know about Canadian coins. But like I said, this is my first silver coin ever found metal detecting. Wow, okay, that was an incredible find indeed. And Kevin, you are correct. I am definitely jealous of that. Uh, your first silver coin being an 1892 Queen Victoria Canadian 5 cent. I did not see that one coming in the slightest. Maybe you should start your own series where you just look for 1800s Canadian coinage. I'd watch it. But seriously though, congrats to Kevin on his first silver. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our finds. So we're going to start this one off with the non-coin finds because there was quite a few of those in this episode. I don't have everything here, but uh, I do have some of my favorites. Now this one right here absolutely stunning a nice crotal bell i cleaned it up and take a listen 
it actually works really well and all these years later there's a tiny little ball I think it's iron in there it's not looking the best but it sure does make a sweet sound and I think that's really cool. You can see a little bit of dirt is uh, actually coming out of it still. So maybe I have some uh, some work to go on cleaning that. Now, next up, we have a nice little find right here. I think I showed this in the video as well. But let's take another look at it. So it is 1905 is, I think, the patent date on that. And it's actually March, I think, March 14th, 1905, to be exact. This is the piece right here. It almost looks like a little piece of a zipper or something, so not really sure on that one. Probably some kind of a latch uh, to be used on some equipment. We also got those two little buttons. These were probably coat buttons, uh, maybe uh, like a woolen shirt or something like that, uh, but they are pretty much exactly the same, and I found them pretty close to each other, so that was pretty cool too. This was actually found on day number two, and uh, I'm actually very interested in this. I was not able to find anything on it. It's just like maybe the size of a dime, but you can see right there it has a unicorn on it, and uh, it's extremely fragile. So I'll go over to the other side as well so you can see that. That's basically just the back print of uh, what you're seeing on the front. I believe that this is the side that you're actually meant to see, but it's really, really cool. Uh, didn't make much of a signal, but I was able to pull it out. I was hoping that we were gonna get a penny on that one. I didn't actually film it, but uh, definitely a very interesting piece right there. Uh, now moving on to the park that we went to, uh, just for an hour, I was able to find this, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's actually the type of tag that you would put on a bird, so maybe on a duck. Um, it doesn't really have all of the letters showing because some of it is corroded away. Like I said, this is probably found, uh, you know, this was probably sitting at the bottom of a riverbed for a long time, so that's where you end up with that type of damage. But you do see it does say bird band right there, so it's some sort of bird band, and I'm guessing a duck. Uh, on that one. I was also able to find this tiny little button which has a nice color back to it. It almost looks silver. It has the letters 24 two times and then the front of it is uh, fabric. And then this was kind of a neat find right here. I found uh, toy gun parts before. This is another one off of what I believe is a cap gun. I used to use these as a kid. You'd have like uh, a little eight pack of uh, ammunition that would go into it. And then these things would, would trigger and pop them and they just make like a little noise. Um, I'm sure many of you have had those as kids as well. Uh, so that was kind of cool to find that piece right there. Now moving on to our coin finds. Obviously this is an interesting assortment of coins. You saw I found those three quarters towards the end over at that park. These were pretty much right on top of the ground. Some really nice looking coins, especially for a metal detecting collection. And then of course, probably the best thing that we found in this episode was that Indian head penny. And I did actually go out and purchase a collection that we can put this into. So it'll be the first one into it. It's a 1901. There is the obverse for you, and we'll flip it over to the reverse as well because you didn't get a super great look at that uh, from the video, but uh, definitely did come out looking really nice once it was all cleaned up. So that is a great looking coin right there, our first Indian head with a readable date, and I'm definitely excited to get that one into a collection. So let's start by putting these quarters into a collection. Actually, each one of these is going to go into uh, their own collection. And uh, we'll take a look here, starting with the 65 through 87. Now you'll notice I actually do already have the 1965 quarter in this collection. The reason that I still uh, showed this one to you was because we're going to be replacing it, because obviously this one looks quite a bit better. It doesn't have any of that uh, environmental damage on it. So let's go ahead and grab that one out. You can see there's a little bit of dirt there. I'll just blow on that to get rid of that. And we'll place our new and improved 1965 quarter into the collection. Up next, we have that Wisconsin quarter, which is going to be going into our 2004 to 2008 collection. And uh, there's really hardly anything in this collection so far. You can see we have one 2004 Iowa quarter. So we are looking down here at the Wisconsin. Let's check what the mint mark is going to be on that one. That's going to be Philadelphia. So right there, 226 million of those minted. So there we go. We're making a little bit of progress on that collection. That's always good to see as you you know uh, those newer collections are a little bit harder to uh, fill things into. Speaking of new collections, uh, the last quarter that we have is going to be that 2021 uh, Washington Crossing the Delaware quarter, which apparently this collection was not even really aware of. Oops, zoomed the wrong way there. So let's open this bad boy up, guys. This is actually going to be the first coin that we're getting into this collection, period. As you can see, it's completely empty. And we're looking at page number three. So take a look at this, guys. This actually has spots for 2019 W. It does not have spots for 2020 W. Pro 
probably because this collection did not anticipate that 2020 was also going to have West Point coins. But yeah, so we got our 2021 and uh, let's zoom in real quick here just to take a look, make sure. So we got a Denver mint mark right there on the right hand side of Washington. And just look at that toning. That is some crazy environmental toning right there. Like I said, I really thought that we had a, a gold dollar coin here just the way that it came out. Uh, but nope, it is a 2021 crossing the Delaware quarter. And I think that that is going to be, let's see, I'm gonna go with right here because we got the 2021 P's are here, 2021 Denver here. And this isn't the Tuskegee Airmen. It is uh, the only other one that they made in 2021. So that's going in right there. So that is our first coin into that collection. We're making some progress. And last but certainly not least, we have that Indian Head Penny 1901. And here is the collection that we're going to be putting that into. It actually encompasses Flying Eagle and Indian Head Scents. As you'll see here, there really aren't too many Flying Eagle pennies to collect. There's only three of them really. Um, and then if we take a look over here, we'll just do a zoom so we can take a look at the whole collection. Uh, so we gotta move that out of the way. And uh, this is gonna be much, much more difficult over here in the middle page than uh, the ones over here on the third page. Uh, and actually, if you take a look at the mintages, you'll notice that uh, the mintages are quite a bit higher once you get into the 1900s. Like if you're looking over here, actually even in the 1880s, 1890s, they're pretty high, like 45 million. That 1901 comes in at 79 million. So one of the most common Indian head pennies that you can find going to be going in right there but uh indian head pennies not very easy to find uh just in general so i'm very happy to be having that one but yeah so there is our brand new collection our first coin into it and i am super excited to be looking for these coins because i have found quite a few of them in the past so i think that this will be an interesting one to pursue but anyways guys that's going to pretty much do it for this one thank you so much for watching make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new because i post new videos like this every single week always bring you along with the hunts and having a good time and make sure to hit that bell so that you don't miss a future video and as always i'm quinn and this is quinn's coin signing out and i will see you in the next episode of the ultimate coin Hunt.